What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today we are talking about Esports Boxing Club and more specifically answering the 15 most common questions asked from Twitter to YouTube to bloody everything. If you guys have any questions of your own, make sure you put them in the comment section down below and I'll do my absolute best to answer them. None of these questions are the answers not made up by me, these are all verified by Esports Boxing Club on their website. So if you want to go and have a look for yourself, feel free to just go, it's esportsboxingclub.com. All right, so let's just get right into it. If there's anything that I feel like I need to expand on, I will do so. The question number one is when is the release date? They say here, our aim is to launch within the coming months. The game will be launched into early access via Steam on the PC. The official launch date has not yet been finalized however we are balancing the community's desire for a boxing game with making sure that we deliver the best possible experience the release date or at least the release date window should be within the coming days they did say they will be doing another update in march which will have things such as uh, more updates on gameplay fighters and a release window question number two is will the roster have more fighters than the current set and they say here whilst we do have hall of fame legends and current world champions we are constantly increasing our roster our goal is to have the best fighters in the game both past and present we have a number of legends that will be up, will be announcing up to the launch so obviously on top of that we already had the six legends that were announced there were 65 licensed boxes and apparently there is over 100 guaranteed fighters on the full release already whether that will be on steam i doubt it because that's early access but full release for console will have over a hundred licensed fighters question number three is can we create our own fire yes of course uh esports box club will feature an in-depth character creation function which we've already seen number four will there be a career mode and story mode esports box club will feature an in-depth career mode to a level that will be new for the genre we have plans to introduce a full story mode as an update once the final release is launched question number five is will there be real belt slash championships in the game they say yes we have licensed the prestigious wbc green and gold belt as well as the the IBF world title the ring magazine title will also be up for grabs we also have licensed national belts such as the COVID Lord Lonsdale challenge title and also guys if you didn't know there will also be a real live title that the winner of a real competition can win when it comes to this game's full release and full esports law. Question number six is will there be realistic knockouts yes knockouts will feel realistic we are developing this to a level that feels satisfying is quite literally the answer question number seven is will there be a console release yes we are planning to launch across xbox one xbox one series x and series s playstation 4 and playstation 5 release dates are to be confirmed like i said should be in the coming weeks question number eight is will there be boxing brands within the game they say yes brands such as empire pro tape among others will feature in the game such as cleo ray's um, I know that's another one for sure that's going to be in. So there's going to be quite a few brands. I believe I wouldn't be surprised if there's also an Adidas because one of uh, the boxes that are in the game is a full sponsor of Adidas. So I could definitely see that happening. Question number nine is, are there any DLC plans for this game? Yes, as a part of our seasons model, we will continually be adding fighters to the game. While in my personal opinion, I think it will be for free and I think the updates will be free and it will constantly rotate around like that. Because I think charging them would be pointless with such an in-depth character creation. Question number 10 is, will there be blood and realistic damage? Yes, this will play a big role in Esports Boxing Club. Your career mode fighter will have to be managed with the quality of your corner team for this aspect. So obviously cut men, corners, things like that, you know, stop you from swelling bad, nasty gashes on the side of your head, shit like that. Question 11, what are your plans for online multiplayer? Current plans include exhibition fights and ranked leaderboards. We'll also be holding officially licensed world championship, which will involve the WBC and ring magazine title question number 12 is we noticed the world's strongest man eddie hall in the game is this for real they say yes eddie is due to fight this year and we're in talks with many other established athletes with a boxing pedigree to be included in esports boxing club that would be cool my thoughts were like conor mcgregor things like that um, but they'd be interesting to see who they put in eventually. Number 13 is we'll be able to share our fighters with the online community yes we're implementing a boxer share feature within our early access release Question 14 is why is it taking so long for the mainstream licensed boxing game to be made? The world of boxing is an incredibly complex environment. The concept of licensing a single deal with an overall body does not exist, so we have to negotiate individual deals. However, this wasn't going to detract us from achieving the impossible. And that so far is what they have done. And the final question is, will you be releasing any more gameplay trailers and information? Yes, we'll be releasing another trailer prior to the launch. Our priority is to put all available resources into developing the best possible game. With this being said, you can find plenty of content around the game on our social media channels and that is it guys that is the 15 most common questions if you guys have got any more questions for me as you guys know i've kind of kept up to everything with this game and i'm pretty much familiar with everything that's going on um, i even have some of the leaked trailers um but 
let me know uh, in the comments down below what you want to uh, if there's anything you want to know and i'll try and my best to answer it and uh, yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one peace